family. He's my best friend. A disabled vet's beloved pet drags him to safety, injured himself after a hit and run. Good afternoon. That veteran says he owes his life to his dog. Not only did he pull him to safety, he stayed by his side until help arrived. And as News 13's Emily Younger shows us, the pair's bond is now stronger than ever. Emily. Well, Kim, the two were crossing a street near their home when a driver crashed into them, then took off. Well, the veteran says he's grateful for what his dog did next. Biblical math. Yeah, he saved my life without a doubt. Hmm? A hero protecting hmm. another hero. I came from a family of veterans, and it was not a question of whether or not I was going to volunteer. It was a question of which branch of the service I was going to go in. Michael Russell is a Marine. He served in Vietnam. It opened my eyes to a lot of things, made me more resilient, self-assertive, and independent. Come on, Maverick. Maverick. The war vet has to use a wheelchair to get around. His dog, Maverick, is there to guide him along the way. This guy, he's tough. He's tougher than leather. Here you go. That especially proved true earlier this month as the pair attempted to cross <laughs> this intersection near their southeast Albuquerque home. I didn't hear no screeching of tires. I didn't hear a horn. There was no kind of a warning. Police say a driver hit Russell and Maverick, then took off, leaving Russell's wheelchair in shambles and the pair injured. One of the ladies that called the paramedics and the police uh, said that Maverick stood guard over me while I was on the street. Neighbors say Maverick then pulled Russell from the street and continued to stand over his owner until help arrived. Russell was taken to the hospital with a few broken ribs. Animal welfare took in Maverick, who suffered a broken hip. He's Maverick. He's meant to be in my life. And meant to look after the Vietnam veteran just as he looks after him. He's my family. He's my best friend. Animal Welfare took care of Maverick's injuries and housed him until Russell was released from the hospital this week, all free of charge. They also donated a dog bed and toys to the veteran. Kim. Okay, thanks, Emily. Now, unfortunately, police do not have a description of that driver or the car that hit Russell.